Hello, this is the Digital Sunday School. Today we're going to look at the video from Crossroads Kids Club called Why Do We Pray? If you've watched that just now, that's perfect. If you haven't, go see that one first, then come back and watch the rest of this one. First, let's pray. It helps to put your hands together, close your eyes and sit comfortably so you can think about what we're saying to God. Dear Jesus, as we look at what you said and what you've done, please help us to know you better and to love you more. Amen. The video you saw was about why we pray. And we're going to look closely at just a part of a talk Jesus gave when he taught about prayer. We're going to read from Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 to 11. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, would give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, would give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Today we'll see, you can trust God because he answers prayer. Why does that mean we can trust him? Because he listens to us. God is very busy. He makes the sun and the stars shine. He keeps the world turning round. He makes all the plants grow and all the people too. That's a lot to do. You might think then that God would be too busy to listen to our prayers, especially when 24 billion other people are also praying. But when Jesus tells us how we can speak to God, he says, ask, and it will be given. When we pray, God doesn't ignore us. He isn't too busy to do something about it. He doesn't tell us to come back later. He listens to our prayers, and then he answers them. The second reason we can trust him is because he gives us good things. After telling us to talk to God, Jesus reminds us that God is good. Jesus points out that when we love someone, we give them good things, not things that will hurt them. And if we can do that, even though we're sinful and not at all perfect, then God will give us even better things than humans can. And that leads us to reason three, because God wants us to know him. Being able to know God is the best thing we can be given. And that's exactly what God wants to give us. We can ask him for the things we need. If we look for him, he will always be there. And when we want to spend time with him, he always lets us in. Sometimes, when we hear that God will answer our prayers, all we think about is what we can get from God. But really, there is nothing better he can give us than himself. Now we're going to learn our memory verse. First, let's hear it and see some actions. Sovereign Lord, you are God and your covenant is trustworthy. You have promised all these good things to your servant. It is from 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 28. Let's have a look at the words and talk about what they mean. Sovereign Lord means the God who is in control of everything. And David who said this isn't reminding him that he's God, because God forgot, but because he's praising him. He is his God. A covenant is like a really serious promise, one that you could never, ever break. And the God who never breaks his promises is trustworthy, and he'll keep this important promise too. 
Now, something that God promised to his servant David was that one day he would send a king, a perfect king, um, who would be king forever. And that's what David is talking about when he says these good things that God has promised to him. Now watch the actions and hear the words again. Sovereign Lord, you are God and your covenant is trustworthy. You have promised all these good things to your servant. It is from 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 28. In today's activity is a listening one. Inside my little box, I've got something that makes a noise. Can you listen and guess what it is? Wow. Have a guess? This one is... Whoops! Rice. Did you guess right? Well done. What about in here now? Can you tell what it is? Have a guess. You can't see that, can you? It is... Some pins. Okay, can you guess what's inside it now? What does that sound like to you? Let's see. It is... Some money! Let's see what's inside our box this time. What does that sound like to you? Should we have a look? It is... Jam jar lids! Did you guess right? What's in here now? Listen carefully. What could be making that noise? Have another listen. What's inside? Buttons. How many of these have you got right so far? Just a couple more to go. We're nearly at an end now. Can you hear what's inside this time? What does that sound like to you? Let's see. It is pasta. Well done if you said pasta. And special points if you've got the shape. This is a bow tie or farfelli pasta. Oops. Okay, and the last one then. Were you listening carefully? What do you think that is? Let's have a look. It is some keys. Since we've been talking about prayer today, we should actually pray. Think of something you want to ask God for now. I'll say, please would you... And then leave space for you to ask God for something. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that you are always there for us. That you are listening to us right now as we pray. Thank you that you want us to know you. And that you give us the good things that we need, including your son. Please would you... But most of all, we want to know you better. Amen. After this video is finished, there's a worksheet with some questions for you and some things you can ask God to do for other Christians. There are also some links for songs about praying to Jesus. Goodbye!